day. Please follow me on my Facebook page and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you. So ngayon, ipapagpatuloy natin ang differential calculus involving the basic differentiation formulas, part 2. So part 1, diniscuss ko ang unang anim na formulas. So dito, ipapagpatuloy natin yung mga formula ng basic differentiation using these three given formulas. Okay, re recall tayo. What is differential calculus? It is a type of calculus that focuses on rates of change such as slopes of tangent lines and velocities. Okay, ipagpatuloy na natin ang basic differentiation formulas. So, sa unang part o sa nakaraang kong video tutorial, itinuro ko ang unang anim na formulas. So, ngayon ipagpatuloy natin using the seventh rule, which is the power rule. And in power rule, gagamitin natin ang formula na ito. So, we have the given n must not be equal to 1. Paano naging ganito? May condition ng power rule na kailangan yung n natin ay hindi equal sa 1 dahil kapag 1 ang n, ang magiging exponent na ng ating solution will be 0. So, kailangan po more than 1 ang exponent. So, we have the given example, find the derivatives, y equals x cubed. So, Sa x cube na given, ang u natin is yung x at ang n natin is yung 3. So, para hindi kayo malito sa solution, sulatan nyo palagi ng ganito para alam nyo po alin yung n, alin yung u. So, the solution, dy over dx equals, ang n natin is 3, kaya naging 3 dito, times x, which is yung u, raised to n minus 1. So, 3 minus 1 times the derivative of u, which is x, with respect to x. So, magiging 3x squared because 3 minus 1 is 2 times the derivative of x is 1. So, the solution or the final answer is 3x squared. Another example, y equals 2x squared quantity cubed. Ang n natin dito, iyon yung nasa labas na exponent. Ibig sabihin, yung 2 na exponent dito ay kabilang sa u. So, ang u natin ay 2x squared at ang n ay 3. And then, let us now uh, substitute or find the derivative of this given. So, magiging 2y over uh, dy over dx equals 3, which is yung n natin, times u, which is yung 2x squared, raised to n minus 1, or 3 minus 1, times the derivative of u, or derivative ng 2x squared. Kailangan natin hanapin ang derivative ng 2x squared. Since my exponent ulit dito, gagamitin ulit natin yung n u raised to 2 times 1. So, uulitin lang natin yung ginawa natin dito para mahanap natin yung derivative ng 2x squared. Kaya magiging, ibibring down lang natin ito, and then 3 minus 1 is 2 times the derivative of 2x squared is 4x squared minus 1. Paano naging ganito yung sagot? Kinopya natin yung constant na 2. And then, yung derivative ng x squared is 2x. Kaya naging 2 times 2x, that is 4x raised to 2 minus 1. So ngayon, isimplify na natin. I-multiply natin ang 3 dito sa naging sagot natin dito. Kaya naging 12x. Paano naging 12x? 3 times 4 is 12. And then, 2 minus 1 is 1. So simply x. And then, kinopya lang natin yung 2x squared quantity squared. And then, isimplify na natin para mahanap natin yung final answer. So, the final answer is 48x raised to the fifth power. Ano naging ganyan yung sagot? 2 squared is 2 times 2. So, since 2 times 2 is 4, yung 4 minultiply natin sa 12, kaya naging 48. Copy the variable x. Paano naging 5 yung exponent? 2 times 2 is 4 plus 1 kapag multiplication ng terms, i-add natin yung mga exponents. So, 4 plus 1 is 5. And that is the final answer. Okay, so let's have another example for the power rule. We have the given y equals 2x plus 
3x squared quantity cubed. Kung mapapansin nyo ang nasa loob na ng parenthesis natin ay binomial. So, ang binomial na yan, yun yung ating u. At ang n naman natin ay yung exponent na nasa labas, which is 3. So, let us apply the formula. n muna, and then imumultiply natin yun sa u. So, magiging 3 times 2x plus 3x squared. Quantity squared. So, since may parenthesis na dito, gumamit tayo ng bracket para maigrupo natin at hindi maisama ang unang ito sa paghahanap ng derivative ng u. So, hanapin natin yung derivative ng u which is yung 2x plus 3x squared. So, kopyahin lang natin ito and then kopya, uh, hanapin ang derivative ng u. So, since the derivative of 2x is 2, so isulat ang 2 plus... Yung 3x squared natin, pwedeng ihiwalay natin yung 3. So, kopyay natin yung 3 times. Ang derivative naman ng x squared ay 2x raised to 2 minus 1. Because x squared, ha, ha, uh, gagamitan din natin ulit nito. So, since ang exponent o ang n ay 2, kaya naging 2x, tapos raise natin yung 2 minus 1. And then, um, Copy again this one, multiplied it by the result here. So, kinopya natin yung 2 plus 3 times 2 is 6x. And then, 2 minus 1 is 1. So, hindi na natin kailangan palagyan ng 1 as the exponent. So, iyan na yung naging resulting equation. So, let us now simplify. The answer or the final answer will be 6 plus 18x times 2x plus 3x squared quantity squared. Ang ginawa natin, kinopya lang natin ito dito, or pwede nyo ring isimplify or isolve. And then, yung 3, minultiply natin sa 2, kaya naging 6. 3 times positive 6x is positive 18x. And then ito, pwede nyo gawing 2x quantity squared at positive 3x squared quantity squared. But that is the final answer. Okay, proceed tayo sa 8th rule and that is the square root rule. Kaya siya tinawag na square root rule. Ito ay dahil gagamitan na natin siya ng square root symbol. So ito yung gagamitin natin in finding the derivative if the given is or if we will use the square root rule. So for example, find the derivative y equals square root of 4x. Ang u natin dito is yung 4x, hindi kasama yung square root symbol. So, let us now solve. dy over dx equals 1 over 2 square root of 4x. 1 over 2 ay palagi pong kasama or palaging iyon yung isusulat dahil iyon yung nasa formula. And then, the u is yung 4x times the derivative of u o derivative ng 4x with respect to x. So, let us now first find the derivative of 4x. So, let us just bring down 1 over 2 square root of 4x times the derivative of 4x is 4. So, since kayang i-cancel or i-divide ang 4 at 2, so let us cancel 4 and 2, 4 divided by 2 is 2. And then, yung 2 na nakuha natin is imumultiply natin sa numerator na 1, kaya naging 2 over square root of 4x or square root of 4 times x. Ihiwalay natin yung constant at yung variable para alam natin o madali natin makita na kailangan natin hanapin yung square root ng 4. So, since may square root ng 4, hanapin yung square root ng 4. So, that is 2. Kaya naging 2 over 2 square root of x. Paano napunta sa labas yung 2? The square root of 4 is 2. So, ilagay yung 2 sa kaliwa ng square root symbol or ng radical. Radical sign and then since walang square root ang x, so maiiwan siya sa loob na square root symbol. Okay, so 2 divided by 2 is 1 or kaya pang i-divide yung dalawang 2. Therefore, the final answer for the derivative is 1 over square root of x. Another example, y equals square root of 8x plus 2. Kung kanina ang u natin ay monomial, dito naman ay binomial. So, ganun pa rin yung gagawin natin sa formula. Ang u natin ay... 8x plus 4. So, this will be dy over dx equals 1 over 2 square root of u, which is yung 8x plus 4. Pero dahil ang 8x plus 4 
ay may common factor na 4. So, gawin, ganito yung gawin natin. Since 4 times 2x is 8x and 4 times 1 is 4. Para madali nating malaman kung may perfect square root ba siya or wala. Multiply it by the derivative of u or derivative ng 8x plus 4x. So, let us now bring down 1 over 2 times 2. Sa nakuha yung times 2. Ang square root ng 4 ay 2. Kaya yung 2 ay ilalabas na natin at imumultiply natin dun sa naunang 2. Uh, and then, kopyahin lang natin to, square root of 2x plus 1. Times, ang derivative ng 8x is 8. And ang derivative naman ng 4 is 0. And then, we will just simplify this resulting equation. Kaya magiging um, 8 over 4. Paano naging 8 over 4? 8 plus 0 is 8. And then yung 8, minultiply natin sa 1, kaya naging 8 yung numerator. And then 2 times 2 is 4. And then kinopya natin yung square root of 2x plus 1. Next, since kayong i-divide ang 8 sa 4, let us divide. Therefore, the final answer is 4. Ah, uh, sorry, the final answer is 2 over square root of 2x plus 1. Because 8 divided by 4 is 2. And this will be the derivative of the given y equals square root of 8x plus 4. Okay, let us now proceed on the last formula or rule and that is the reciprocal of power rule. So in this reciprocal power rule, we, we, we will use this given formula wherein involve pa rin yung letter u and n for the exponent. So, for example, let us find the derivative y equals 1 over x raised to the fifth power. Okay. Kapag ang given is my numerator na 1 or any constant, gagamitin nyo palagi ang reciprocal of power rule o ang formula na ito. So, let us have the solution. u is for the x and n is 5. Hindi muna natin ibibilang yung 1. Okay, so let us have dy over dx equals negative 5 over x raised to the 5th or raised to 5 plus 1. Okay, paano naging ganito yung kinalabasan? Sinunda natin yung formula since ang, five natin, uh, ang n natin is 5, so naging negative 5 since yun yung, uh, ang formula ay negative n. So negative 5 over x or over u raised to n plus 1, or 5 plus 1. Multiplied it by the derivative of u, or the derivative of x, with respect to x. So, let us now sim uh, simplify. Negative 5 over x plus 5 is 1, kaya naging x to the 6th power, times the derivative of x is 1. Therefore, the final answer is negative 5 over x to the 6th power. Another example, y equals 1 over 3x squared. Ang yun natin dito, yun yung 3x at ang n ay yung 2. So, let us now apply the formula. dy over dx equals negative 2 because ang n natin is 2 over 3x raised to 2 plus 1. Because 3x is our u and then ang n natin is 2 plus 1 times the derivative of u or times the derivative of 3x. So, the resulting equation will be negative 2 over 3x cubed because 2 plus 1 is 3 times the derivative of 3x is 3. So, i-multiply lang natin ang 3 sa negative 2, kaya magiging negative 6 over 3x cubed. And then, since kayang i-divide ang negative 6 sa 3, so let us divide. Therefore, the final answer is negative 2 over x cubed. Let's have additional examples wherein kinumbine natin o i-combine ang iba-ibang uri ng rules simula rule 1 hanggang rule number 9. So, let us find the derivative. The given is y equals 3x raised to negative 4 plus 4x raised to negative 5. Okay, so para hindi tayo malito, ito yung ating mga formulas. So, nasa iisang picture na simula rule number 1 hanggang rule number 5. Uh, number 9, sorry. So, kung mapapansin nyo, meron tayong exponents na negative 4 at negative 5. So, gagamitin natin dyan ang 
uh, power rule since meron siyang exponents. And then, combination din ng constant at ng variable x. So, pwede dito yung rule 1 and 2 or yung combination which is yung rule number 3. Okay, let's have the solution. dy over dx equals 3 times x raised to negative 4 plus 4 times x raised to negative 5. Ano yung pagkakaiba ng given at itong equation na ito or ng ating solution? Naglagay lang tayo ng dot para maihiwalay natin yung constant at ang variable pa at para hindi rin tayo malito sa paghahanap ng ating derivative. So, we will just copy the constant 3 times ang derivative ng x raised to negative 4 i negative 4 x raised to negative 4 minus 1 times 1. Paano naging ganito yung x raised to negative 4? Ginamit natin yung power rule. Sa power rule, ang nakalagay nu raised to n minus 1 times du dx. So, ang n natin ay negative 4. So, kinopya natin dito ang negative 4. Ang u natin ay x. And then, n minus 1. So, naging negative 4 minus 1 times derivative ng x which is 1. Plus, kopyahin natin yung 4. And then, ang derivative naman ng x raised to negative 5 is negative 5x raised to negative 5 minus 1 times 1. Again, ang in-apply natin ay yung pow uh, power rule, nu raised to n minus 1 times du over dx. Okay, so let us now simplify. The final answer will be negative 12x raised to the negative 5 plus negative 20x raised to negative 6. Paano naging ganyan yung sagot? So, isimplify lang natin ito at yung uh, isa pang part. So, 3 times negative 4 times 1 is negative 12. X. And then, negative 4 minus 1 is negative 5. Ang plus dito, pwede natin gawing minus na yan ng derecho. Or pwede ganito na may open and close parentheses. And then, 4 times negative 5 times 1 is negative 20 x, and then negative 5 minus 1 is negative 6. Hindi natin sila pwedeng i-add or i-minus dahil magkaiba sila ng exponent. So, iyan na yung final answer. So, let's have additional example. y equals x squared over 4 minus 2x cubed over 6 plus 3x to the 4th power over 12. So, gamitin natin ang mga formula or tingnan natin kung saan bang formula po O anong mga formula ang pwede natin gamitin sa ating given? So, kung mapapansin nyo, meron tayong tatlong fractions. Sa quotient rule, ginagamit natin ang quotient rule kapag meron tayong isang given na fraction. Pero, ang given natin ay tatlong fractions. So, ibig sabihin, tatlong beses natin gagawin ang solution na ito na kung saan sobrang haba ng solution. So, paano natin mapapaikli ang solution natin dito? So, obserbahan natin yung given. Dahil ang mga denominators na 4, 6, at 12 ay pare-parehong even number. And then, ang numerator ng x dito, uh, sorry, ng 6 dito ay 2. Ang numerator naman ng 12 ay 3. So, isimplify muna natin yung dalawang fraction. So, kopyahin lang natin yung unang fraction. Kaya magiging dy over dx equals x squared over 4 minus... 2 divided by 6 is 1 third or magiging x cubed over 3. And then plus 3x to the 4th power over 12 or 3 divided by 12 is 1 fourth. Kaya naging x to the 4th power over 4. Okay, ngayon na simplify na natin or na lowest term na natin yung mga given, proceed na tayo sa pagsisimplify. So ganito ang gagawin natin. Since mga fractions ito, ihiwalay natin yung mga fractions para maging whole term ang x squared x cubed at x to the fourth power. So, ang x squared over 4 ay naging 1 fourth times the derivative of x squared with respect to x. Minus, yung x cubed over 3 ay naging 1 third times deri the derivative of x cubed. Plus, 1 fourth ulit times the derivative of x to the fourth power with respect to x. Okay, ayan, nahiwalay na natin yung mga fractions, kaya naging isang term ang x squared, x cubed, at x to the 4th power. 
So, hanapin na natin ang mga derivatives ng given variables x. So, magiging 1 fourth times ang derivative ng x squared is 2x raised to 2 minus 1. So, since ang 2 minus 1 is 1, so naging 2x na lang. And then, minus 1 third times ang derivative naman ng x cubed is 3x squared. Kung paano naging 3x squared, in-apply natin yung power rule. So, n u raised to n minus 1. So, 3 minus 1 is 2. And then, 1 fourth times power rule ulit. Ang derivative ng x to the fourth power is 4x cubed. Okay, so let us now simplify. Kayang i-divide ang 2 sa 4 or ang 1 fourth sa 2x kaya naging 2. O ang 2x or nawala ang 2 dito kaya x na lang ang natira and then yung 1 fourth naging 1 half. And then 3, i-cancel natin yung 3 sa 3 and 4 sa 4. Therefore, the resulting or the final answer will be x over 2 minus x squared plus x cubed. Paano naging ganito yung sagot? Since na-cancel na natin or na-lowest term natin ang 2 at 4, therefore, x times 1 is x and then may natirang 2, kaya naging x over 2. And then, na-cancel natin yung dalawang 3 dito, kaya ang natira ay x squared. Because x squared times 1 is x squared. And then, ganun din, x cubed times 1 is x cubed. So, yan na yung ating final answer or yung ating derivative. Okay, so let us now summarize the part 2 of basic differential formulas. So, for the seventh rule, we have the power rule. And in this rule, we will use this given formula wherein n must not be equal to 1. Eighth rule is the square root rule using this formula. And the last rule or the ninth rule is the reciprocal of power rule wherein we will use this given formula. Okay, again, ito yung mga formula simula sa constant rule hanggang sa reciprocal of power rule. Kailangan meron kayong kopya ng mga formulas na yan kung hindi nyo man memorize para sa pagsasagot na inyong quiz, assignment, or kahit anumang sit work ay meron kayong guide kung paano ba sasagutan ang given differential or ang given na paghahanap ng derivative. So, sana ay may natutunan kayo tungkol sa basic differentiation formulas or sa ating differential calculus. Thank you for watching. If you have questions or suggestions, feel free to comment below. Enjoy learning mathematics. God bless us all!